so we will be looking at the accounts module demo uh, which is totally built inside google sheets and which has also all types of reports which you need to analyze your data inside your business so firstly what we do is we will capture an order in the system for which we would be having our client master ready in the back end so which would be coming from the crm when we convert any of our client it would be coming in our uh, client master we can add all our products in the back end and when we need to capture an order what we'll do we have this interface inside this whatever client we select the data is auto populated according to that we can upload any work order if we have received we can enter what is this order like what are the products or services we are selling in this order and we can define payment stages in the system so up to four stages we can define like 25 percent would be advanced 25 percent next payment whatever the stages and we have a total amount over here when we click on save this order is captured in the system immediately now whenever this order is captured in the system like we can see erp one two three four nine orders we have and we have their pdf url as well of the order and now in the payment reminder sheet whenever we create an order automatically it starts showing that this order is currently for due payment as we are saying like this client herschel order number erp one order description stage one 25 percent payment this amount is pending and we can even send email reminders to the client as we already have our client master ready now let's say if we receive this payment from the client we have a button besides it which opens a simple google form in which what we do is just enter the sales amount so whenever we enter the exact amount which was uh, showing in the payment reminder according to the stage so it automatically removes from the sheet so let's say we select which employee is making the entry sales category if you want we can remove these two fields if they are not needed simple amount whatever is there we can enter the amount we can enter the gst amount uh, we have received in this any tds amount is deducted in this we can enter the sales description and what it does is it maps it against this order id so whenever we receive payments again this order id if the payment received is full it would be automatically removed if parcel payment is left it would be showing in due payment so likewise we create a sales master data of all the entries we are doing so in the accounting sheet you would be having a sheet called sales master data so whatever google forms you are filling in you will have a sheet uh, something like this uh, sales master data in which date wise you would be able to see all the sales amount the sales description the gst amount tds amount revenue sales category for which client this this was done and everything can be filtered according to month if you want to send your uh, all your sales uh, invoices or any data to the uh, chartered accountant you can just filter it via month and download it in a pdf format and you can just export it you can also export it in excel format same way uh, we can do expenses against a specific order why we are doing this against a specific order because we can also give you a net profit of each order so let's say you are also raising purchase orders from the procurement module against an order and you are doing miscellaneous expenses also so we can log that with a simple form where we just select the expense type like what was the expense expense amount expense description and if it was against any order as we have clicked the button besides it it auto maps the order number but if there is a normal expense inside your business then what you can do is just simply fill this form and select here no just enter the amount the expense type expense description so we would also give you reports of what expense type uh, how much amount of money you are spending so we will come to the report later so on submission of this simple uh, google form you also create a expense master data in the database again all this data is non deletable whenever you click on backspace or anything on the data it would be auto fetched back again so all the data is secured and if you want a feature that we should be able to edit it in future we can give an edit url of the same form with which you can edit you get a report of net profit of each order order number 1 client 1 order description total order value was 66000 total expenses done uh, whatever the expenses done and likewise we can give you a net profit of each order we can generate invoices pro forma invoice and tax invoice so we just select from the drop down and the company's gst number sam signature everything can be set and we just select the client name from the client master we have our product master in the back we just select the products we have automatically their hsn code units is fetched and when we click on send 
an automatic PDF is sent via email directly from the sheet itself and we also have a copy created like uh, this is a quotation master similar you get an invoice master date wise client name uh, here you will get invoice number which employee had raised the invoice total amount and the invoice PDF right inside the sheet so no need to go inside folders you will also have latest invoices always on the top anytime you want to search any clients invoice you just select filter uh, on, on the name and you get its invoice over here so sending uh, invoices to the chartered accountant every month is easy inside from the sheet itself you can find any transaction with this invoice master data you got expense master data and sales master data now we will come to our detailed financial uh, reporting feature so also as uh, we are getting a payment reminder if you purchase a procurement module as well we can also give you a uh, payment which we need to give to the vendor what amount is pending so if, if you have the procurement module you get that as well and now we would be loading the detailed financial dashboard which uh, displays your detailed performance of the business in a graphical manner so we can uh, analyze this like it is saying that total sales were 19 lakh 98 thousand and this was the month on month growth for revenue these were for expenses the net profit percentage is 90 what is the average expense about net profit revenue generated each quarter and anything can be filtered let's say you want to see the data only of 2021 you select 2021 and you have all the reports uh, filtered according to that particular year if you want to see reports for a particular client you can filter that as well so below we can show you your top five clients what are your top five products in which category you are uh, spending uh, more in expenses or in terms of sales what is the category which is earning you the most amount of sales so likewise this is a graphical dashboard which will help you to understand your financials each order what is the net profit order wise net profit top five clients contributing to the revenue so this is how if you analyze your financials you would be having a, a better uh, you'll be in a better place to take more good decisions uh, for your finances and this is simple things like it's just google form connecting to a sheets in an organized way with which we are uh, doing custom automation scripting for invoicing to send it automatically via email pdf we are storing it in a database itself so everything is centralized you can set if you want to directly send invoice to the client or no you can set the email body as well uh, in the setting sheet so this is our uh, accounts module where you get net profit of your business you get net profit of each order the uh, per profit percentage average profit percentage you have pretty good uh, expenses sales master data enough to send to the ca and uh, uh, also you can send the invoices so basically this is the invoice module with uh, which is linked to a cloud-based portal like this which you can uh, get it at a one-time cost and uh, if you need any further customizations as well we can discuss it if, if it's uh, minor customizations we can do it itself in this if that's something different in what you need in accounts we can discuss on a call so do let us know if you are interested thank you